Welcome guys, welcome to YouTube you should know TV. Today in this video I'll be showing you how we can change our default VP content folder to something else like we can change the name of VP content folder where our files actually saved in WordPress. So we can change the name of VP content and we have a folder over there as well known as uploads. So we can change the name of upload folder as well. We are doing this stuff to secure our website so that whenever a hacker comes to our site so he won't be able to know that where we are saving our content. So for doing so, uh, for doing these things, uh, this thing, so for the steps that I'm going to show you today and you will be able to modify in your website as well. So as you can see that uh, on my screen, I have opened my WordPress admin panel. So you can, uh, you know, uh, in my previous video, I have shown you how we can uh, download, install and WordPress and so right now uh, I'm in the admin panel of WordPress. So from there, I'm going to show you how we can uh, change the VP content folder and upload folder name. So for that, I'm going to show you click on media, add new. select files now you can select any any file that you want to upload like I'm uploading this file now this file has been uploaded if I go to edit this file now you can see the file is stored under its path is localhost and slash VP content under upload folder so to remove to rename the VP content and upload we are uh, making this video today so please follow the steps that I'm going to show you as I told you earlier that the main folder in WordPress is our where we actually installed our WordPress that was vamp folder and under vamp there is a folder called www and here we have all the content of our WordPress website. So under this folder, the most important file that I'm going to talk about is vpconfig.php. Now in this file, you can see, if you scroll down to the bottom of this page, so you can see we have something written as, so in bottom of this page you can see something written as setup wordpress was and included files where you can see require once abs path vp settings php so we are going to add some query over here that will that will change the name of our wordpress vp content folder to assets so from now onwards our vp content folder folder will be called as assets so now as we have changed the name of VP content folder, now we will be telling the system that its directory has been changed. So we need to write one more command over here and the command is, as you can see the command is defined VP underscore content underscore directory ABS path VP underscore content underscore folder name. So as we have typed our as we have entered our directory over new directory as well doing these steps will break break the path of the plugins and the themes that we have used in our wordpress so to repair those broken paths we are going to add two more lines over here and that would be define vp underscore site url this and the next line would be define vp underscore url vp site underscore url and this so all these queries that I have wrote over here, you can find these queries down my video. You just need to copy and paste in your vpconfig file. You can change the name, any, any name that you want to change with vp content. As we want to change the name of upload folder as well. So we will be defining one more command over here and that command would be defined and we are changing the upload folder name as files so we have done with the vpconfig file so now press ctrl plus s to save the file 
as the file has been saved so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart all the services once again so restart all services and let's wait the icon to be green as you can see the icon is green now so we will be clicking on the icon and we'll select localhost that will open our website as you can see nothing is over here so against localhost we will be typing slash vp and vp slash admin sorry vp hyphen admin and then slash click on enter and now we are on the site now so let's try to add one more media image and let's see whether our efforts worth it or not let's add this file once let's add this file one this time and click on open let's see click on edit yep so you can see uh, as under localhost forward slash files we have we have changed the name of the upload folder so in this way we can hide the vp content folder name and the name of the upload folder where we are uploading our files as this is a media file so right now you can see the upload folder name has changed to files that we changed under vp config file so that was all about this video uh, please mention your comments below the video and any any help that i can help you with please mention below the video link and please don't, don't forget to subscribe my channel youtube you should know tv thank you and have a nice day bye bye